finally, finally got the call. I finally got the call I've been waiting for. I'm so excited. Okay, so as you can probably tell by the video title, that the reason why you clicked on here, I got a pint. I'm so excited. Well, let's get into it. I finally got my pint. I live in Canada, so it takes a little longer with customs and stuff like that, but it finally came in. I got it. But before anything, I gotta charge it. Okay, let's go for the maiden voyage and see if I hurt myself. I think I got figured out. Kind of wobbly, because I'm not used to it. Further testing is required. <laughs> okay, we're on day two of uh, trying out the pint. Yesterday I put about 11 kilometers on it um, with my first run, kind of getting the hang of it. So now I'm going to go for another rip, because you know, that's what you do. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of like the carving. I switched up the modes it's into because initially I was in the, uh, what's the first mode called? I have to look it up. Reconnects a lot. App could use some work. Assuming the app's the issue. Redwood. <laughs> the initial app, or initial mode it comes in as Redwood, which is a kind of like a trainer mode almost. I switched it up to the Pacific. It's a little, uh, as it's described, it's designed for flow in everyday situations. So it is a little nicer for just the, uh, the cruising and uh, getting the hang of it a little bit better. Uh, I tried the other two modes because there is four modes total that you can switch it through aside from doing custom. And uh, yeah, I like the Pacific the best so far, but I'm still learning. So maybe I might like the other ones later. But yeah, so far, day two, real good, but I'm gonna put some more kilometers on it. More testing is needed. All right, day three on the one wheel. This is kind of, this this test I should say, I guess is kind of what I really wanted to get this thing for. So I'm, I'm just going to the store. So I'm going down to Whole Foods, get some breakfast, Saturday morning, not a lot of traffic on the roads right now. Except for that guy and that guy. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of like one of the things I wanted to get this for aside from adventuring. So we're doing that test today and getting some breakfast. See how if it's annoying to have it with me in the store because it is a bigger item. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's go.
that was good. Now it's time to ride. Yeah, as you can see, my pine's pretty beat up because I've been enjoying this thing. This is awesome. So here, here's what I've learned with this thing in the last few days of riding this thing around. I put about 31 kilometers on it. Things that impress me with this. It literally can go anywhere. Uphill, downhill, dirt, grass, concrete, over bumps, down bumps, gravel. Actually, not so much gravel, not so good. I was impressed too that it can power up hills quite well, a lot better than I thought. And the downhill regenerative braking that it does, it was actually a lot better than I expected. So a few things I learned riding this though that uh, may help you. I would recommend wearing like high top shoes if that makes sense to you. Like shoes that have kind of cover your ankles because one of the things I end up doing is when I'm trying to learn if I kind of got nervous and I jump off, uh, this thing would keep going a bit and then ram into my ankle and it kind of hurt and I feel like having some high top shoes might help with that. The other thing too is kind of like trust the mechanics of the board. Uh, like when you're going over a bump or like you, you hit like the edge of a lip or whatever, kind of like let your ankles go loose a bit and just let the board do its thing because it, it's not going to fall over on you easily. Like it'll take a bit to actually tip. So just kind of trust it. It'll keep you upright and uh, that's kind of like what I discovered while riding it that kind of made things easier once I got used to that. Like don't try to fight anything with it, just let it do its thing and uh, you'll usually be all right. There's two cons with this board though. I will admit there's two things that I did not like. One is the, the app that comes with it. Not the app itself, it's just the fact that it's always reconnecting to the board. So it's not really as useful as you think. Like it still works well enough to like change settings and stuff like that. But as far as actually using it to like monitor things just off of curiosity, it wasn't great for that. And then the other con, which is, uh, it's kind of a big one. Waiting for it to charge, because then you don't get to enjoy it. That, that part sucks. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm gonna enjoy my pint now, because uh, this thing is awesome, and I'm gonna get out and enjoy the good weather while I can. So make sure to do this stuff. That'd be cool. Do all that stuff right below the like button. Just, just do all that stuff. And uh, if you guys are going to be picking one up in your lower mainline, I suggest checking out Longboard Labs. That's where I got mine. Really good customer service there, so I would recommend. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos with this pint. So yeah, thanks for watching.